Fitur in Madrid was the last major tourism conference to take place before the COVID pandemic disrupted the world. And it's the first since. It was agreed with ITB Berlin and World Travel Market that Fitur would hold a face-to-face -face event, the first in our changed tourism world. It was going to be very different and it was going to be much smaller. Every single delegate had to be tested before they were admitted. The testing procedure caused a little bit of a delay the first day, but responded quite remarkably when you think of even the reduced numbers coming to Victor. And a lot of the pageantry was there too. You could see the celebrity guests and people queuing to meet them. It was a place to meet old friends, renew old acquaintances and new encounters. Most of all, it was a place to test the mood of Spain, European tourism and world tourism in general. Overall, there was a sense of euphoria that the event had taken place at all. The aisles would be crowded at Fitur. This was not the case and wouldn't be. People talked about last summer, how it was important not to go through a second summer with the degree of losses that they had. They talked about international regulations and the lift given by the announcement on the Thursday, European Union was going to introduce the digital green certificate. They talked about how the Spanish tourism industry had kept its shape. They talked about local regulations to make things safer. On Friday came the big announcement. Spain is opening its doors again. It's going to align with the digital green certificate. People who have been vaccinated can arrive without a negative PCR test. And as the applause died off from Pedro Sanchez's big announcement, the questions began. The biggest and most important is what happens to people who have not been vaccinated, people of a younger age group, and especially the teenagers, because Spain is going to require that everyone over six has either a vaccination or a negative PCR test. There is a way out for the big Northern European source markets. That is to get their incidence rate, their 14 day cumulative per 100,000 population rate down to a level that Spain has decided does not require the test. But what will that level be? Are we back to the definitions of last October when 25 was the level? Or are we going to look to Germany who put 150 as its level in some recent announcements? They are all the factors that have to play out in the coming weeks and months. We should leave the last word on Fitur to Fernando Valdez. Fernando learned his English in Ireland, as did the president, Pedro Sanchez. Always interesting to hear the little Irish idioms when either of them take some questions at a press conference. Fernando studied at Trinity College and his last trip before the COVID outbreak was to Ireland. He brought his family up the west coast, Dingle Peninsula, the Cliffs of Moher, Galway, Mayo, and his favourite, Donegal. In a wide-ranging interview, he talked about summer 2021, how it's going to be different. When Spain opens, it's going to stay open, and there are not going to be regional variations. He said the new tourism that Spain is planning for the next 25 years is going to be based on sustainability and a digital experience before people travel to Spain. And he talked about Fitur, how important it was to get this iconic tourism event up and running even in its reduced state. We look forward to Fitur 2022. We don't know how different the industry and the world will be when that comes round. Spain provides you that kind of feeling and we are going to do it with all guarantees. Uh, and Fitur is a perfect example of how things can be done. I mean, it is true, Fitur 2021 is not the Fitur that we have uh, other years. Is is uh, less? We have less people, bigger halls, uh, open spaces, but still we do have Fitur. So we need to think that. Uh, safe tourism is possible.